Hello, I am Victor Paredes. I am the product manager of Moho and I want to show you how to merge shapes in Moho 14. But first I want to use this character as a reference to draw. So in order to do that I want to show you something else that maybe will be useful for you. So I want to use this character to trace over it uh, but I want to duplicate it first. So I will take the group that contains the character, duplicate it and now I will zoom out and send the duplicated group to the left, all right, a bit far from the other character. And now I will take the, the original character, open the layer properties by double clicking, and I will set the opacity down to, I don't know, uh, let's say 12%, all right, so I will press OK. So now the idea here is that I'm going to trace over this character, but I'm going to take the colors from this character, all right. So in order to do that, and here is a, another tip, I can split the view side by side by clicking here. So now you can see I have two views. So in the second view, I can have the character only with the color here, and I can actually make this screen smaller. So I can put the character here, and now in this screen I'm going to trace. All right. So now I will take, uh, I will select the vector layer, and I will take the freehand tool and please remember I'm working on frame zero here and I'm going to take the color of the head of the character and maybe I will take this style so I will use the this style here for the line and with alt on the keyboard I will drag right or left to define the size of the brush so maybe a bit less than this maybe this so now with the freehand tool, I have auto stroke and auto fill. So I'm going to start drawing the ear. So I will just draw the ear here. Okay, let's say something like that. So now I have the ear. And now I will draw the other ear. Let's say something like that. And now I will draw the head. So I will just go like that. All right, and now I will draw one hair and the other one. Okay, so basically I will just hide the original character and you can see here I have two, I have, sorry, five shapes. If I go to the select shape tool, I can see I can select one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so what I'm, go uh, I'm going to do now is to select all these shapes. So in order to do, to do that, I have several options. First, I can use the Select Shape tool, click on one shape, and then hold Shift on the keyboard and click the other shape, the other shape, the other shape, and the other shape. And now they are all selected, all right? Now I will unselect them by clicking outside because I want to show you a second way to select the shapes. I can select one of the shapes and then I can hold Shift and I can drag the mouse over the shapes I want to select. So then I release and everything is selected, okay? And I'm going to unselect them now. I can also use escape to unselect. So I will just press escape on the keyboard. And I, I want to show you the other way. In this case, for this layer actually, it only has five layers. So I can just click on select all and it will select all the layers, all right? So now that I have everything selected, I can just press on merge here. And all these layers now, they are part of the same shape. Sorry, not all these layers. All these shapes are par part of the same shape. So now I have a single shape here. So you can say I can man manipulate that single shape. So maybe we'll just change the line width. I'm using the line width tool here to change some of the line width there. And maybe here. All right, so I have my, my shape merged. Now, if you see here, let me just hide the vector layer. If you see here, I will move the shape a little bit here. You can see I have a cut, like this triangle cutting the shape. So what I'm going to do is I will draw that little triangle. So I will just draw something like this. All right. And now I will select that shape. Let me just hide the character here. And I will set this shape, uh, this shape as subtract. So it's a liquid shape now. And now I will merge. So now the, the subtracting layer is merged to the same shape. All right, so I can merge that way too. Now I, I want to draw 
this part of the character, like this oval. So what I'm going to do is to take the color of that part and now I will just draw that part. Uh, let's say something like that. All right. And now I will say, I know this is uh, the, the line width is a bit big. So I will just adapt that now and maybe the curvature. But now I will select this shape with the select shape tool and I will select clip here. So I clip it. So now you can see the main shape is clipping this shape here. But actually what I'm going to do instead of that is I will select this shape and I will press merge. So now the software merged both shapes and now this shape looks like this. It's not having the rest of the shape here. So you can do that now. So now we have the entire head of the character and it is done with only two shapes. Okay. I hope this will be useful for you. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.